Hello, everybody. Air, that's getting comfortable. This is Mike Gertis from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living and, of course, Wonder Dog Yoga. Uh, we had to get to go pick up Dr. Maxine this evening, and we're looking forward to that. Uh, she's definitely looking forward to seeing her mommy. So, I woke up this morning, and I was feeling kind of depressed. I don't know if you've ever woke up in the morning feeling, oh God, it's morning. But it wasn't quite like that. It's just a slight depression. I was wondering where that's coming from. One of my teachers told me years ago, he said, Mike, that depression comes from anger you have turned inward. And so I started to think, you know, I am angry about some stuff. I, I'm, I'm kind of sick and tired of this COVID stuff, especially the way the government, our leadership is handling it. I mean, the COVID is one thing, but the way we're mishandling it at the government level, level is criminal. It's, I mean, yeah, I'm upset about that. And uh, you don't, I know who to believe, I believe the science, but these politicians that are getting in there and they want freedom, I, I saw, um, a, a nice uh, t-shirt um, this heavy set woman was wearing it was it a cartoon it said F-R-E-E-D-U-M-B freedom and sometimes people want their freedom by not wearing masks in public well yeah that makes me upset it gets me a little angry and I know we're big about forgiveness and it's important to forgive. I get that, but I also recognize that if I don't embrace the feeling I have, I suppress the feeling I have. And if I suppress the feeling I have, it's turned inward. I need to process my feelings. We all do. One of the ways that I've processed my feelings is to go out in the car and just yell. Ah! Have you ever done that? I bet you have. One of my teachers, the same teacher that told me about the uh, anger turned inward, I'll tell you who he was, is Leonard Jacobson. I was at this retreat that he put on, this teaching he put on down on Santa Cruz Mountains. And he told this one guy to go yell at a tree. So he got up and he went out and you heard him <laughs> yelling at a tree. The point of it is, it's important that we get this stuff out. If you got some suppressed anger, you need to take a look at it. You need to let it go. And just saying, oh, everything is wonderful, perfect, and divine. Well, on the absolute sense, it is. But on our human sense, unless we embrace it, work through it, we're going to trip over it again and again and again. I got a sad situation. Now, depressions can be linked to sadness, but... Sadness is something else. Sadness is um, how you feel when you're grieving, losing someone. Um, we're coming up on the anniversary of my son's dying. Uh, he died on July 21st. I didn't find out about it until the 25th. So naturally I thought that he died on the 24th. So anyway, all that week, coming up next week, I've been anticipating for a while. I had, there's not a day goes by that I don't think about Kyle. And what I do, I feel sad. I've gone through different stages of grief. I accept that he's gone. I, you know, I do believe that intelligent energy is not destructible. I do believe in eternal life and I do believe he's on another plane of experience. I do believe that. And I do believe that he has conveyed a message to me from time to time that he was okay. So that's good. But I can remember, I'm still mad about things about it. I mean, I'm really mad at the doctor that originally prescribed him Oxycontin when he was 16 years old because he hurt his shoulder from a car accident and got him on the pathway of opiates. Yeah, I'm angry about that. And I'm angry about the uh, 
drug dealer that sold them the fentanyl and the heroin. Yeah, I'm mad about that. I'm also sad. But, you know, if we don't embrace these feelings, if we don't look at these feelings, and if we don't honor these feelings, we don't allow ourselves to be real. Now, there's said to be over 4,000 colors discernible to the human eye. I want to be able to embrace at least that many feelings. I do want to know the truth, and I do most of the time know the truth. But that's because I don't let myself get mistaken and try to cover up my truth my, by trying to cover up my wounds, by trying to cover up my feelings, by trying to cover up when I'm sad or I'm mad or I'm just feeling that way. Yes. Anyway, that's my message for today is to feel your feelings and then remember who you are. That's it. Feel your feelings and then remember who you are. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be mad. Feel your feelings. Scream if you need to and then remember who you are. Who are you? You're a child of God, the Most High. You're that individualization of God life. I'm that individualization of God life. And what are the qualities of God life? These I can recognize once I've embraced the truth and once I know where my feelings are, I can move past those feelings, move past those emotions into remembering my wholeness, my truth. And I'm knowing that for you right now. So thanks for tuning in. Tomorrow, probably, you'll get a chance to hear Dr. Maxine share on her adventure and give us a wonderful lesson. And then Sunday, she's got her live stream from Sweet 16. Be sure to tune in for that at 1030. And go to cslphilly.com which is our website, and you can download um, previous love talks, uh, love note talks, previous uh, Sunday morning arc uh, talks. You can get, check into uh, the classes. You can do all kinds of wonderful things. It's a really beautiful website, and uh, the people that put that together, God bless them. Anyway, that's it for today. Yoga and I are over and out until we talk to you again. Bye now. <laughs>